celebrities from 90 Day Fiancé, who have lost family or friends. Focus on the cast of 90 Day Fiancé who have suffered the loss of loved ones. Learn more about Jason Hitch, who played Angela's father, and Annie and Robert's kid in this article. Viewers of 90 Day Fiancé have become familiar with multiple cast members throughout the course of the show's run. While the show's majority of love stories in Happily, it has also featured some of the most heartbreaking breakups in reality TV history. The loss of a loved one, however, can be too much for a 90 Day Fiance cast member to bear. Even if fans express their deepest condolences, even when close family members of 90 Day Fiance stars have died, the show must go on. Guillermo Roger's brother, Josa Jokin, tragically passed away recently, and news of his loss has been shared with fans. Season 9 of 90 Day Fiance starred Josa Jokin. Unfortunately for Guillermo, he was unable to see his brother in the Dominican Republic due to visa constraints. Corey Rathjiver went through a similar situation when his father, a former cast member of 90 Day Fiance, the other way, passed away from pancreatitis. This occurred while Corey and his then-girlfriend, Evelyn Villegas, were vacationing in Ecuador. Sally Menzies, Kim's mother, passed away in January. Kim's mom, Sally, was met by fans when she was on her way to Tanzania to meet Usman Numar, Aka, Soja Boy, Darcy, and Stacy Silva, stars of the hit 90 Day Fiance, frequently reflect on the life of their late brother Michael. The sibling of Darcy and Stacy was just 24 years old when he was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, an extremely rare form of cancer. The other cast members who have suffered losses of loved ones since they began their 90-day fiancé journeys are profiled here. Adriel Springs, the child of Annie Francisco and Robert Springs, Robert and Annie, of 90 Days to a Better Life, had their first child, a daughter they named Brenda Alia, on July 28, 2020. Before Brenda, Robert had already been a parent five times over. His son Bryson appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. The announcement that Robert and Annie were expecting a second child was met with criticism from fans who accused Robert of being reckless. Adriel was born to Robert and Annie on September 7, 2021. Due to sciatica, Annie had trouble walking throughout her pregnancy. Adriel's hospitalization was confirmed in November 2021, and the pair appealed for prayers for him. Annie posted on Instagram on April 21 that her seven month old son, Adriel had passed away, despite the fact that the infant had returned home safely. While Annie's testimony didn't confirm that their son had a cardiac problem, it did suggest that he might have had one. Jason Hitch, ex-husband of Cassia Tavares, a veteran of the United States Army, Jason originally appeared on the show with his ex-wife Cassia in Season 2. Jason, from the United States and Cassia, from Brazil, had a surprising narrative in which the two of them divorced twice. Cassia confirmed their final breakup in 2018, following which she wed another man. Sharon, Jason's sister, reported in December 2021 that Jason, age 45, had passed away from complications related to COVID-19 at a hospital in Florida. Despite the fact that Jason apparently had no pre-existing problems, some of his followers have argued that he was anti-mask and anti-vaccine because of the content of his Instagram posts. I first treated the texts I was receiving as a joke when they first started coming in. 90 Day Fiance Star Cassia said in her statement, I'm startled. Glenda Standridge, mother of Angela Deem. On February 8, 2020, George and Angela lost her mother Glenda. It had been just 10 days since Angela and Michael Alessandmi tied the knot in a traditional Nigerian ceremony. When Angela's mother, who was 77 at the time, became ill, she took on the role of caretaker for both her and her father. She also worked as a nursing assistant at a hospice. The late Glenda fought cancer and other major health issues for a long time. Just hours after the wedding, Angela received a phone call informing her that her mother had been found unresponsive. Glenda was taken to the emergency room and later transferred to the intensive care unit. Angela, a reality TV star who was close to her mom, 
regularly uses Instagram to reminisce about happier times and share them with viewers of her show 90 Day Fiancé. And she does so especially on Mother's Day, which is the first she will spend without her. Tragedies have struck the lives of some of the cast members of 90 Day Fiancé, but the survivors never forget the good times they shared with their loved ones and do their best to carry on in the ways they know their departed loved ones would wish.